Kingdom Voice Network, dispensing the gospel of the kingdom. The Bible says these functionaries that have ascended to the hill of the Lord, the Bible says that they were sent forth before Jesus to confront the gates of the territories. The context of that scripture is territorial because it began by saying the earth is the Lord. So, in Psalms 24, verse 7, the gates that were spoken about there were gates to territories. That's the Old Testament version of Luke chapter 9 and Luke chapter 10, where I just read. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. You are not with me. You are not with me. It means most of you didn't pray, pray before you came here. You just came with your with, with your jeans and said, let's just check this guy out. Let's check him out. Amen. Let's check him out. We came here for you, for you to recover your calling quickly. We didn't come here to check you out. Recover your calling and, and, and repent for, for, for drifting away from the original covenant you made with God before you came here. You just came and said, oh, you know, those days when we were in the public, in public service in Nigeria, we sent some of our, the members of our union to the headquarters of our country to go negotiate things like our, our conditions of service. Do you know that kind of stuff? Our union leaders went to the best hotel in our country and snapped. Snapped like this. And, and you know the caption of the picture, living the life, living the life. We sent you to fight for us and you are living the life there. <laughs> I hope you are not living the life. God sent you into the territory, you came to Birmingham and you said, oh, we are living the life now. Because your soul has veiled of vanity has found a place. God. God is looking. He's looking out for that functionary that will rise from this conference. I said, this is why I came. So the question is this, are you the one who is to come? So we wait for the generation of your children. Because God has all of eternity to wait. And you don't have all of time. So he can wipe all of us out and raise our children. It's a privilege to be numbered in him. And I will never be ashamed of him till I die. No nation, no government will be able to stop me from proclaiming the kingdom, the power and the glory. This was why I was apprehended in Jesus Christ. And this will be the mission that I will serve all the days of my life. These functionaries that have found the hill of the Lord were the ones that Jesus sent to confront the gates. And there are three metaphors I need to introduce you to. When you see gates, it talks about authorities. When you see windows, it talks about blessings. When you see doors, it talks about opportunities. So these guys were going to confront the authorities of the territory. This kind of apostolic sending that Jesus was doing he was sending people to confront the authorities that held the territories. And that was why he could not send them naked. He had to give them equipment. He had to give them power and authority. Because you are going to meet the authorities of darkness. The chieftains of Hades will confront you. But if you have the tools, you can send them to obedience. You cannot do kingdom business. Extend the frontiers of the influence of Christ outside of the utensils that Jesus makes available. Listen to me. This is the twelfth time. I'm hearing there are people here that have left their calling. If he says it twelve times, those people are not less than twelve in this congregation. Left their calling. Left the covenant they made with God. Came here to study, hoping that if God should support them, that they will serve him and they are veered off. More than 12 people. Here. And these people are expecting that God will establish their homes. 
and give them miracles and settle them in. They are still asking God for more help. Meanwhile, the first help he made available to them, they veered off and began to do their own thing and to live the life. You see, many people, many of us think that God is daft, that he doesn't remember. So we come to him at our own convenience. I say, well, um, if you give me food to eat, uh, and you ensure that I succeed here, uh, and I pass this examination, get a house in the city center. And you bring to me a damsel fair to look upon. Then I will uh, consider. You'll be in that your limbo until the Antichrist comes. Because he will leave you behind. Just like he has left so many people behind now. And I can tell you about the continent of Africa. Because I've been watching that continent for a long time. He has left so many people behind. I don't know about your place here. Maybe by next year ending, I'll be able to tell you about your place. How many of you have lost the wind? How many of you are in darkness? And if God doesn't show mercy, you will never find your path. You'll be in that state of confusion because you, 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 you refused him when he wanted someone to send. It's a great privilege for you to be sent. Because when you are sent, he says you don't need to take script. You don't need to take the next coin, the next pound. A laborer is worthy of his hire. I will show you marvelous and miraculous ways by which I supply to support the people that carry my interest before their faith. So he said, lift up your heads all you get. Lift up your heads, ye authorities. Be lifted up, ye ancient authorities that have manipulated territories because the king of glory is coming. These disciples were to be sent forth to cities and to countrysides where Jesus himself will come. This was the message. Lift up your heads, ye authorities. Because there is a monarch that is coming. You will not survive him. So I advise you in your own interest. Be gone now. You can go easily. You can go cheaply. And avoid a bout. The king of glory is coming. And I tell you Birmingham. The king of glory approaches your city steps. There are functionaries among you. That the Lord will bless in the days to come. There are pastors, ministers among you that the Lord is going to governize. Many were sent ahead of you. Whose souls were overtaken by the vanity of your city. Many were released to proclaim the light and the kingdom. And the glory of God. That departed and were not faithful to the calling. He comes again to your city steps. And he comes to strengthen, he comes to empower. Because he wants a witness within the territory. A witness that is so strong and so bright. That them that dwell in darkness will see the mighty illumination. And it will be clear where God is. Men will navigate because God will be attractive in his glory. That he will bring upon the territory. Lift up your heads. Lift up your heads. And be thou lifted up ye everlasting doors. Because, guess what? When the heralds went forth and they challenged the authorities, the, the authorities wanted to know who the king of glory was. They so were been here long, for a long time. Nobody ever challenged us. So who is this king of glory? We don't know. The heralds continued. They said it's called the Lord of hosts. That means he doesn't travel alone. He travels with a host. He comes with a company. He comes with a legion. And nothing will be able to resist him. In this day, God wants to travel into cities. I'm talking about, you will, you will find nations like India, some of the most, some of the most 
powerful men of Christ will rise from such nations. Nations, nations that you have not heard of in the news for a long time. Nations that the, when you hear about them, it's about diseases. About corruption. Nations like Nigeria. Some terrible kingdom men will rise up. And Satan will not be able to do anything about them. Yes, because I've seen the flames. I saw a tributary of that flame. It touched the nation of uh, India. I saw a tributary from that flame. It touched some nations in Africa. Five nations in Africa. Then I saw it coming to Europe. God is about to witness to the entire globe. People like Bob Jones, before they died, they prophesied that a time is going to come that within the space of 10 years, one billion people will come to Jesus Christ. Not preach Jesus to for one year. You've been working on computers and you think that's why you are here. You are here to work on computers. You are here to marry. That's the reason why he saved you so that you can marry a, a fair woman. It's all about you. You can't see beyond you. And one of the things that God will have to do is to deliver you from you so that you can see what he wants to do in the land. Because these guys were called and they were going for Jesus. Not going for themselves. They were going for Jesus. They were going for Jesus. You know what? When you begin to go for Jesus, you begin to set, solve your own problems. All of us have problems. But he, he steps into your situation when if, you, if it is clear that you are there for are you, are you running for yourself and then trying to use God to solve your problem? You will never find it. You will always have problems. You will be on the prayer line forever. There will always be an ache, an infirmity, a pain, a loss. Something is broken. But when you give up yourself, I say, where, where, where do you want me to go? And you begin to go. Then you will raise men for you. It will cause your face to shine. Hallelujah. Kingdom Voice Network dispensing the gospel of the kingdom.